Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Was 9, No Thrills. So, in today's episode we're going to do some Batania, and we're going to get the Majolnir, or Mew Mew, or however you want to say it. You know, the, the big hammer thing from Thor. We're going to get one of those. Oh man, I just figured out, well I didn't figure it out, but I know that there's a way to get this thing, this uh, rune tablet of that stuff, yeah. I know the way to get that now. I looked it up. Oh, where's my book gone? Right, figured it out. You need the branch of Yidrasil. So I need another one of these Alvin. Probably upgrade these to the, the Gaia versions eventually. But for now, I'm going to do that. That is going to fill this up with, uh, with some mana. And we made the horn. There it is. Horn of the Wild. Again, we're going to lob that in. And you'd right click it on there. And I think this fills this up with like water. Once you drink that, you can go kill the Gaia Guardian and it drops one of these. And it gets used up every single time. So we need 19 of these. Meaning we need 19. Gaia Guardian kills. I wish I'd known that before. Uh, it's with an A in it, Gaia Guardian. Ah, how many Terra Steel do we have? Terra. Oh, we've only got one. <laughs> Flipping egg. Anyway, we grab this and we drink the water. And there we go. And now we can go fight the Gaia Guardian. I'm going to do it off camera because you guys have seen it before. And it's loud, isn't it? So, let's go. Oh, something is in the way. Is this thing in the way? Yep. Oh, we actually got two from that. Maybe that's because we got a really high level of, uh, like, looting. Might be it. And we got a music disc. I like that. And we got the Pinkinator. Amazing. And the thing of fate. There we go. Loads of runes as well. And... Yeah, we just need to make more Terra Steel now, because we, we do need 19 of these, right? So, but to be fair, I've only got one, so we're gonna we're just going to make one for now. We need to make the, the rune thingies, uh, the rune holders, these bad boys. So we need a load more mana powder. So, oh, hello. Mana powder. Let's get 64 of that. Where's it going? It's going there, right? Yeah. Right, I um I normally turn the sound off when I'm doing this multiple times, and I've got like 14, and I can't be asked to do the rest right now. I will do them off camera. I think the good goal that we've got for today is just to get the Mjolnir, and then we can get this thing, right? Uh, we do have the stable wormhole, so it's literally Mjolnir is all we need. By the way, if I'm saying that wrong, it doesn't matter, because I say everything wrong. So, <laughs> I think everyone can... Uh, Everyone knows that I don't, I don't say anything correctly, do I? Anyway, I think I should do it over here somewhere, right? Oh, I need to turn the sounds back up. Apologies. Apologies for that. Let's put this back to... I normally have it on 18. Don't ask why. No idea. I've always just set it to 18. Seems like a good... Um, yeah, a good like level for some reason. So I've always stuck all of mine at 18. Anyway, right. Let's... Uh, uh, F, F. Go. Right. No idea why there's a cable here. Right, I'm going to have to set up something for this. And I want to build it out of... Well, it's Batania, so it kind of should be something... Let's use uh, living... The living materials, right? So we can do... Yeah, there we go. Let's do some of these. Oh, crap. We might actually need more... Living rock now that I've done that. So if we get some stone, we can go slap it in the uh is that stone? Yeah. You yeah, pop it over here. There we go. Oh, we've got some in here anyway, so let, let's grab all of that out. Cool, right. So we need that living stone because uh, it will go, it will drop on top of this when we make uh, some some runes. Anyway, for now, these are all of the runes that I need. I think. So if we go in here, let me just 
get rid of all of those. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I think it's seven of them. So if we do rune, I'm going to get, oh, uh, you know what? I think I made every single one of these that we need. So if I do that one, and then it was like a load of earth ones. So I'm just going to grab all of these ones out, see if we've got them all. Right, we're going to do a little bit of this on camera because I just confused the absolute heck out of myself. Um, I think this is how it goes right here. So we need this one in the middle. So this is zero, zero on like the X and Y axis, right? And then if we have a look at the Rajon here, it actually gives you the coordinates. So this is zero and two. This one's minus two and zero. So, you know, one of the axes stays the same. So if this is zero, this is one, this is two, right? I think that's how I got it. So if we do that, that should be the middle bit done. Let's have a, um, another look right here. So now we need to go to five. So one, two, three, four, and then this one here is five. So right there needs to go one. Does that make sense? And then again, same thing over here. Right there needs to go one. I think that's how that works. Anyway, uh, this, this is five blocks away, including itself. One, two, three, four, and then this one is block five. So this is kind of the plan. It's what I'm going to be doing. I'm using uh, living wood planks because they look kind of cool. And they go really nicely with the, the uh, living rock. Uh, so it's two from here. One and two, and then that one is where we place it. And put one on this side as well. And then from here, we need to do the edges or the, the other bits, right? So these ones. So that is minus two, three. So one, two. So this is minus two. And this is one, two, three. So right there needs to go one. And then I think it's minus three, two or something like that. Anyway, I know one needs to go here. I, I think one needs to go there. And then what about this last one up here? So that's minus four, four. So one, two, three, four. And then minus four. So it'd be, I think, there. Because that lines up there. And that lines up with that one. Yeah. And then from this, we just put these ones on. I'm going to have to duplicate that on this side and this side and this side. So let me do that real quick. Right. I think this is everything. Uh, we might need like a spark or something. We need to get uh, some half a mana pool, I think it says. Does it say half a mana pool? Half a mana pool. And we need to lob all of this stuff down as well. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Underneath here, I'm going to put one of those um, demagnetizers. These things are amazing, by the way. Whoever came up with this idea, oh, hats off. Anyway, put that one down, put that one down. And then we just start placing all of the uh, the runes. So I'm actually going to do it from this direction right here because that is north and that makes the most sense. Oh, and it is daytime. <laughs> so uh, let's go from... The top down, so Wrath, Pride, Air, and Asgard. Okay, so let's do Wrath, Pride, Air, Asgard. Now, from what I remember, I don't actually remember where these go, by the way, already. I'm, I've am i got like a, a brain like a goldfish today. Today, you say. Um from what I remember, you th these don't actually get used up, I think. The, the runes don't, anyway. Hopefully. Not all of them, maybe. I, I've seen them, like, pop off. And uh, when other people have done this. I don't think I've ever done this one before, the Majolnir. It's quite an interesting crafting mechanic right here. So it's Wrath and then the... That ones. <laughs> Those ones, whatever they're called. So these ones here. 
So rough goes on the outside. Rough there. I also know that there's a rough that goes right at the bottom. And then I believe these ones are earth, from what I remember. And I think the this one goes here. And then what is in the corners? I think it's pride. Let's try pride. Let's try that one and see what we do. Now, do we need a wand of the forest? I don't know how we activate this, but I know that we lob down those items, which are polished andesite, gold. I did get all of these things, like all the tiny planets. Tiny planet. So just get one of those and then red string. I got 19 of those a while back. And then the golden pasture seeds, there it is. And then the polished andesite, andesite. Okay, and then I think we can just lob those down. I feel like, are we missing one? I, I didn't get gold. Do one of those and then do we activate it? No. I forget how you do this. Right, here we go. I think because I've got the mana tablet on me, full mana tablet. Oh, and you don't shift click, you just right click. <laughs> That's what we were looking for. And I'm going to let this, because the, the animation's kind of cool for this. There we go. Do we get all of the runes back? That is the question. I think we did, you know. All the prides are back. We got all of those. Yeah, we did. Get, we got all of them back. Now, yeah, we need a golden apple. Let's eat one of these bad boys. I think it's these ones. It might be the other one. You need uh, just some absorption. But there you go. We got, we got my shoulder here. Look at that. Awesome. It does eat the uh, the middle the middle one right there for the what are they called uh, rune holder. So rune. Did I did I make uh, all of the Rune holder. I didn't make all of the rune holders, but you do need to make 19 of these or 18 in our in our case, right? Stick that there. There we go. Um, as I said, I'm going to come back to this another time. Oh, and I did want to just point out. So there's the mana tablet. That got 100% drained because it takes an entire mana tablet. But what you can do is uh, there's this thing called the mana mirror and you just shift click it on a mana pool. And this thing is as if you've got this entire mana pool in your, like, inventory at all times. Right, anyway, that is all of the things we need for this thing. Now, we do need to get this up to pressure. So, I'm going to grab... Uh, yeah, let's grab a couple of blocks of coal. Uh, eight each should do it. Now, these two things, the air compressors, I actually made, I think I got an air compressor from a village, right? Air compressor, oh, hello. So there's two, there's the advanced one, but you, you kind of need to go, like, this looks really cool and everything, but you need the advanced pressure tube, which comes from one of these assembly things. I can't be asked to set this up. Again, you don't need to do everything when it comes to a few of these mods. Um, for now, we're just going to do, like, the bare minimum. I think afterwards I might come back and do some stuff with uh, New Matter Craft. Like there's a, a mech suit basically, or I suppose it's not called. Cool. You can only have it on you when you've got absorption. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. I could get this one and it gives me 10 minutes. I'll do that after. Uh, let's just get another apple for now. Eat this one, and then we can at least put this one in. Oh, you have to actually, like, hopper it in, don't you? Hopper. I think it's this side. It might be the other side, if I'm honest, but... Now, nah, there you go. So that is in, and it's going to pop it in there. There we go. So we've got one in there. Uh, we need to get the rest of the stuff, right, for, for the pulsating black hole. So let me just quickly bookmark everything so we can go grab those so fire 
Oh, I know why. I was like, <gasps> we don't have the fire upgrade orbs, but we do. It's just up here. Did I get rid of this? What did I do with this? Oh, never mind. There we go. Why have we only got one? I swear we had more than one. It's proper having a tough time, isn't it? Right now. The uh, the AE system, the refined storage. Oh, Pyromancer. I swear we had loads of these, though. Pyro. So we've got some Pyromancer charms, and we can just get an egg. There we go. And we can... I think there's a... Uh, yeah, there it is. Do one of those. Turn this on. No, other way. Turn that one on. That will get us a bunch. Oh yeah, okay. Um, grab the shulker box that we had. Silly sausage. There we go. And yes, we're getting a load of... Oh, cause are they all fire runes? Is that what it is? Rune. Yeah, they are all fire runes. Okay. Alright, there we go. I made all of the uh, the fire, fire orbs now. Anyway, we pop back down here. And we can put this one in. Just the one at least. Make sure we only get one in there. That is gonna like expel some of the um some of the pressure that's in there. Because that's to open it and then close it again, right? So that's that one down. We need the ME quantum ring. We need the micro missile. I should probably test if this one works, but nah, it's fine. Stable wormhole. Dark rune. Vial of searing expulsion. We can make a load more of these. They're relatively easy to make. Lightning bomb. Uh, and then that's it, I think. And we just have to plonk these in one at a time. In fact, we can just chuck them in like this. And that should be everything. It does take a little while. That's fine. As soon as that closes, it's opening up on the inside. It's going to plonk it in there. So you can see there's like one, two, three, four. And did it open and do the other one? Yep. Let's just put another one in there. There's a fifth one. And it's probably doing the next one as well now. So it does take a little bit of time, but when it does, it, it'll pop all of them in there. When it gets to five bars of pressure, or near enough, I think that's what it is, yeah. Uh, just below five bars of pressure, it will uh, it will pop out a uh, pulsating black hole. Perfect. Nearly done as well. Oh, last one. Or is it all in there now? Not entirely sure. Anyway, th this you really don't need to go any further than just making the air compressors. Ugh. I wish they they actually added like the advanced air compressor as like something for the, uh, the 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 black hole. That would make a lot of sense in my in my head at least. But here we go, nearly done. Right, we are getting close now. We should. Ah, why are you not making? Crafted. Yeah, export the crafted, please. Pressure warnings. Am I missing one? I swear. Oh, I didn't get the dragon steel. Oh, I'm in here. Dragon steel. There we go. We needed one of these as well, didn't we? Just got a quest. There we go. So that's the last one now. Flipping egg. Oh, there we go. And there is the pulsating black hole. Uh, we might have to pipe this out. So. Uh, logistical transport pipes, configurator, just regular old chest please, just regular chest, thank you. Oh, it also, also comes in here, nice. Pulsating black hole, perfect. So, the only thing that I need left now, if you look at this, I imagine we've got all of the micro missiles, because we do, they just don't stack, right, but... 
The only thing we need left is all of the Mew Mews. So, yeah, we're going to have to find a way. Oh, never mind. I've already automated it with some modular routers. They do go in there. I was so happy to see it. Uh, so we just need these rune thingies. Stick that there. And then I do need to chuck all of the bits in. I did forget about that, if I'm honest. So let me bookmark all of these things again. And I will figure out a way of just dropping them there. Now, just to prove to you that uh, the mana mirror should, well, it should work for this. Give it a right click and it did work. And it actually took half of the mana port over here. And you can see it's already filling up. Look how quickly this is filling up, that's insane. Oh, amazing. Uh, a load of these, so all, we got all of the, the runes back, right? Uh, but they don't automatically land in a few areas, so I do have to do the few of them manually, at least. I think it's these two and the Yotun guard or whatever it is. This one. Put there. Oh, and I need absorption. So I might actually go off and do like a few. No, you know what? We'll leave that one there for now. Yeah, we'll leave it there for now because I need to go get the rest of these. Right, uh, this should be like fully automated now. Uh, not fully, because. Yeah, I, I don't want to do this bit. And. Oh, I keep forgetting that we need all of these gubbins as well. Tiny planet. Damn it. Right, we need some way of... Uh, uh, we could use uh, the open crate. Right, this should be now completely automated. So we just right-click in the middle there. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh yeah, it's, it's using all the mana from the mana template in it. So, or the mana mirror. Probably put this away. There it is. Oh, and I didn't mean to pick these up. Just put them away. Probably... Yeah, there we go. So, all of these are pulling from a router, which is right here. Uh, I need to... I need some stack upgrades, I think. Stack upgrades. And all of these need speed upgrades to pull out a bit quicker. Speed upgrades. But, there you go. Did you see that? All of the runes went in there as well. Anyway, I'm going to do all the rest of these off camera, I think. We do have absor absorption right now, so... We can pick up all of the Mjolnir. Uh, but I, I guess... To be fair, we could just do them now. Why not? Let's just do them now. Right, here we go. Another one of these. And... There you go. They've all been put back down. <laughs> Love it. I can pick that one up. And then we just do the exact same thing all over again. Easy enough. One, two, three, five... And then right click. There we go. A lot quicker now, isn't it? I know I'm going to run out of absorption at some point, and it's just going to drop like a bunch of um, Mjolnir's, and I can't be bothered to deal with that. So, what a plan. This is one way to do it. By putting them in backpacks that are just like led around here. They're all like brand new backpacks. And I'm going to put another one in here, and so on and so on. All of them right here. So then what we can do is we pick one of them up. Just like that, and then we can place it right on top of the hopper. The hopper should pull out all of the materials from here. So in fact, what we could do is we could go around and we could put each of the individual, like one of each of the things in there. Right, these have all got everything in them now, so I can just take a backpack, basically. And we can stick it right there. And it should, it should be all real quick. I wonder if I can make some speed upgrades. Uh, at Fnumatocraft. How do we make these? Easy enough. Let's make let's make a bunch. There you go. You can only put ten in there. Perfect. So I think that's everything needed, and we just need to get back up to the pressure. Good look. Yeah, there we go. And that should pop out into here. Lovely stuff. Now, what I can do with these is I can just... Never mind, I just put a backpack in there. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, we can just put these, like, I don't know, right here. And then pick up a new one and put it on there. Easy as that. And it should be really quick because of all the speed upgrades in that. 
And to be fair, we can put speed upgrades in this one as well. And we can put speed upgrades in these. Let's put like, I don't know, two in each of these. And that should speed up like it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it already going up. And just like that, we've got 19 pulsating black holes. Amazing. So we take all of the, the fuel out of this now. And there we go. That is everything done with that one. That was actually, I actually quite enjoyed that one out of all of them. The Bolivian Shard's also pretty cool because, um, wow, well, Eternal Stellar. Speaking of, I need to put one of these on my uh, Morgan because apparently it does work on the Morgan. Someone told me it didn't a while back and then uh, uh, I've been getting, oh, you can do it. Let's do that then. Uh, submitting table. I'm sure there's a, a few other things that I should be putting this on, but for now, uh, Eternal Stellar. So that one, that one, that one. Boosh! There you go. Now we've got infinite durability. We don't have to think about it. I don't know why it's bobbing like that. It's a bit odd. Anyway. Cool. Right. We're going to call the episode here, I think. Next episode. Uh, did we do the Oblivion Shard already? Is it literally just the Wither Compass we've got left? No, surely not. Let's have a look. Um, what mod is this from? All the tweaks. Tweaks. Oh, hello. So we need to make more dimensional seeds. That's the one. We need more. Why do we? Why do we only have one Nexium emitter? Oh yeah, because of the gravitational modulation unit. And for this one, this one we can actually do. Yeah. And then the improbable probability device also needs antimatter pellets. Plus, I need like a way of getting these um, fluid storage parts. For some reason, every time I go to make them, they just don't make. So fluid storage parts I think it's this one so if I try and do 18 of those for example oh yeah we need loads of quartz I've been stocking up on the quartz to be fair that's why we made this this big big old machine over here right making soul sand and then turning it into uh into quartz I believe yeah cool okay well we're getting there we're getting there I'd say um I still don't think the update's in yet where oh, I should probably check. Let's have a look. Uh comb wasted radioactive comb. Wasted radioactive bees. It doesn't look like it's in here. But there there should be a way relatively soon I'm thinking where we can use where we can get the Omega upgrades to work with wasted radioactive bees. So I think uh We'll probably have to wait for that. It depends. How many antimatter have we got? How many is that? 35? So if it's 6 per... There we go. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. And we've already got 1, right? So that's 7. It's pretty much 7. We've got 7 already. So about halfway. We're not. We're about... A third of the way. But once we got one ATM star, we should be golden anyway, right? Um, oh, I was using the omnidirectional hopper. Do you want to see something funny with the omnidirectional hopper? Uh, only came in here because of power, but at power. I did make one of these a while back. Oh, maybe I got rid of it. Ooh, maybe I didn't get rid of it. This thing here, the, the ender nitro cell. You can get infinite power by doing this, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have shown this off, but the omnidirectional hopper, if you put that on this. This was actually a bug a while back, and you can see that this is going up. I'm going to bin these two, by the way, once, once I've shown this, so we're not going to use it whatsoever. But there's a ton of power we could be using right now, if we wanted to. It's kind of insane. Yeah, you can use the omnidirectional hopper for that. It's weird. But anyway, uh, I'm going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you in the next one.
Bye. 6.88 days. That is 165 hours and 7 minutes. So that's how long it's been since the last time that I showed you this, which was two episodes ago. Meaning that we got the Oblivion Shard and all of the pulsating black holes in four hours. So it's not, not really that much because I've been prepping for it, right? But that's pretty good going, right? It's pretty good going in my opinion.